Here is how you reduce the size of your livery files for a set of course. Uh, this is going to make everything easier, make the servers run quicker, make everyone get better FPS, um, and just avoid any trouble in large online events. So ideally what you need to do is for your livery, you can't have the main file, which is here, the uh, for the uh, RSO1, the car Rosseri, .dds file. It really can't be any bigger than 2K. That's the biggest size we need. So 4K liveries, they're great, they look great, but the files get exponentially bigger and they look exponentially less good the bigger you go. So I would always recommend 2048 by 2048. It's the absolute maximum size. So I've already got the flattened DDS here, so you can just re-render them once you're done. So reducing it to 2K will drastically reduce the size of the file by about, you know, down to about 25% of what it was. When you are exporting as well, you can use the 888 format, which is kind of the highest resolution one, but if we see here, this is currently 16 megabytes, but if we switch to BC3, it's now 5.59 megabytes. BC3 is really the best format I would I would use for exporting DDSs for Assetto Corsa. You really don't need all the extra detail that comes with the 888 format, so let's just update that, and the car looks exactly the same. <laughs> Unless you're running on massively high settings, you're not going to notice a huge difference. So that's got a load of it down. So for things like Occlusion Cockpit, which is Cockpit Details, again, this is quite a large file. Let's see the size of that. It's 2048 by 2048. It doesn't need to be that big. For things like this, I would say 1024 is the biggest you need to go. And again, let's export that as BC3. That's now down to one megabyte from about four or five, I think. Uh, we have some files in the RSO one that are a bit unique. You get them in some cars where it's essentially just a flat color texture that's that's kind of copy and pasted over the entire car. This does absolutely not need to be this big. This is two o by two o four eight. This is a like five megabyte DDS and rendered properly. It, that's still too big. You don't need to make this any bigger than one pixel. Let's just make it one pixel because it's just being stretched all over the car. Let's export that again as a DDS in BC3. And now the car looks exactly the same. <laughs> but you've taken a five megabyte file down to a one kilobyte file. It's the exact same with things like uh, this uh, parasole layer, which I believe is the uh, window marquee. Again, does not need to be anywhere near this big. Uh, one by two four, you can make this very easily 512 and it will look exactly the same. It's such a small part of the car. Like when you have these massive textures and so much of it is empty space, it's just literally wasting space. So again, BC3, I can't tell the difference, can you? <laughs> Everything's starting to get nice and small now, which makes everything a whole lot easier. I think we can just do the suit NM, which is literally just the map layer. This can be really small because it really doesn't make any difference. You could even make this 256 if you really wanted to. All this is doing is just providing the reflective layer to the underside of the driver suit. Now if we add the driver back in in AC... I mean, the amount of suit you can actually see is so little. <laughs> and everything still looks, still looks totally acceptable. So that's kind of all the big files, I would say. Uh, reduced nicely. Driver gloves, that's the last one. Again, this is an app, so you can make this absolutely minuscule. You can make this 256 if you want to, because it's just the game is just going to blow it up and it won't make any difference. If you have some detail on there, you can maybe take 1024 as a maximum I take for, for gloves, but you, you can't get away with it. I cannot get the free cam to work. <laughs> I mean, the, yeah. You wouldn't, you're not, you're not going to really notice any difference between those being this size and them being 2K. Other than that, I also see things like Photoshop files left in. You don't need those. You only need DDSs and PNGs and stuff like that. So make sure you always delete your PSDs. Sometimes PSDs can be really, really huge. That's just how they are. So always make sure you take those out. For things like as well, the preview file uh, and the livery file, they do not have to be massive. The livery file you see in the game is like one one two eight by one two eight. So you don't need to make it any bigger than that. Use compression when you're exporting the uh, PNG as well. Just try and get the size of it down. The preview file as well. I've seen some huge ones of these. If you just use the the base game showroom thing and you press F eight and take a screenshot. Even on the biggest settings I've got, even on like maximum pixel density, the file still comes out to like a barely few kilobytes. I mean, JPEG is a very lossy format, so it's quite nice on space. So now, after all this work, this file was well, this folder was 100 megabytes when I started, and it is now 13.7. That's how you make a fantastic-looking detailed delivery with all the little flair and bits you want on it, but it doesn't wreck everyone's FPS. Anyway, hope that helps.